The Colgate Comedy Hour. Starring Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis. With their special guest, Danny Lewis. And Tommy Wonder and Margaret Banks, Danny Arnold and Elizabeth Root. Presented by the Colgate Pummel of Pete Company, makers of Halo Shampoo. Pummel of Lather Shaving Cream. And Fab, the new wash day sun. And now, the Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis show. The meeting will now begin. As your chairman, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you to this most auspicious meeting of the Bird Wheel Parent Teachers Association. <laughs> As parents and teachers, I think you should meet the two young men who have captured the hearts of our children. And so, without further ado, here are those fabulous young men, those great stars of stage, screen, radio, and television, Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis. <laughs> I'll give you a squint. Look, listen to I me. I just stood there. I didn't say a way. It's all on account of you. I like it. I like it. They don't squeeze it. Don't push it. What do you thought? What? It's all you. They didn't do anything about me. Oh, in other words, that everything they said was me. Don't shake it. It's I all like you. it. Yeah. Oh, it's all me. Sure. All right. I don't want to be in trouble with you. Then I'll start singing. No, I like it. I like it that way. I like it. Don't sing it. Don't oh. sing it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'll introduce your song. Uh, ladies and germs. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I would like to take this opportunity to introducing my partner. 
Uh, needless to say that uh, every show that comes up, what is it? What, where did Harry Lauder come from? What is it? <laughs> what is it? What are you pulling me over here? I don't know where to walk. Now I tell you what you do. Open wide. You have a very bad, very bad cavity. You see me at 2.30 tomorrow. <laughs> Ajax cleans your kitchen sink up to twice as easy, twice as fast. Use Ajax, the foaming cleanser. Cleans your sink just like a whiz. Use amazing the elbow tax when you start cleaning with Ajax. Ajax, the new scouring cleanser, foams as it cleans. Polishes too, whee! And leaves no gritty cleanser scum. So use Ajax, the foaming cleanser. Floats the dirt right down the drain. So use Ajax. Remember, Colgate's Ajax foams as it cleans. Ajax cuts grease faster than any other leading cleanser. Ajax polishes as it cleans. Mmm, and it smells good, too. So use Ajax. My favorite, Ajax. See, why don't you switch to Ajax and see for yourself how Ajax cleans your kitchen sink up to twice as easy and twice as fast as any other leading cleanser. Ajax cuts grease like that. It is kind to your hands, too. Get two cans, one for the kitchen, one for the bathroom. Ajax, the foaming action cleanser. No, you're not late. We're just a little behind schedule. That's all. Not late at all. Here, I'll uh, I'll give you your your little uniforms. You go ahead, put these on. You oh, put them on. Uh, well, we don't mean to be so modest, Mr. Martin. But would you please leave the room while we change? Me leave the room? Are you kidding? I no. Go behind the screen here. Oh, right behind the screen. That's all right. Thank you. Go ahead. Be my guest. <laughs> behind the screen. <laughs> uh, oh, Mr. Martin, would you mind to lower the shade, please? Would I mind to lower the stage? What? The shade. The shade? Yes. Now, this is a little ridiculous. We're 63 floors up high. Why should I lower the shade? Nobody can see us except the sky. Oh, all right. All right. <laughs> Go ahead. Tom, watch your... <laughs> oh, take it easy. You're not even undressed. What's wrong with you? You crazy cat. <laughs> <laughs> now, you come in here. Come in here. Come in here. I want to talk to you. Oh, I'll open the window. You... I'll, I'll open. There's no glass. What oh, are you talking <laughs> Get to those girls. Oh, I did nothing wrong, sir. Oh, you were peeping, Tom. <laughs> oh, no, I beg to differ with you.
you, sir, because I belong to the Window Washing Union, and we have a perfect right to take a look every once in a while. <laughs> We pass the window, something's going on. Go we take a look. I want to see myself get out of this one, boy. <laughs> but anyhow, I say that. Yeah. Oh, hold it. Good. That was Blend it. Two eight by ten to one five by seven. Uh, no, come here. I, I don't think this is a nice thing. I mean, uh, it's well, a... I'm an honorable man, and I belong to an honorable union, sir. Mm -hmm. Well, why did you peep? You're not honorable if you do a thing like this, Jezebel. <laughs> Well, I, I wasn't peeping, sir, but I think it is wrong and I should be punished. I am sorry yes, for looking. Yes, you must punish yourself, Sylvester. I certainly will, sir. How'd you know my name? Ah, uh, just lucky, I guess. <laughs> From the rehearsal, he knew my name. <laughs> yes, sir. You're fresh, Sylvester, and you shouldn't have peeped. That's what you get. And some of that. And slap your hand, soap on your tongue, and give you a good spanking. Here, twist your arm. Not so hard, easy. All right, all right, all right. Let's not overdo it. I punish... I punish myself good, boy. Those writers have got to go. Yes, sir. <laughs> now, uh, now, what is it? Well, well, sir, I, I just want to tell you that, that photography is my hobby, sir. No, you're supposed to pick up your bucket and get out of here. Yeah, I, uh, by the way, I'm leaving. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Well, photography is my hobby, and I just thought I'd stop in. Revere cameras are swell. Oh, I like Revere's myself. Yeah, Revere motion picture Revere, cameras. They're Revere. terrific. Revere hey, cameras. Revere. When are you going to send them like this? All right. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm going, sir. I'm sorry that I caused you trouble. Oh. Good day. No. Oh, no. What am I going to do for a model? You chase my two beautiful bro beautiful girls out of here. Nothing <laughs> like that to me. Well, I tell you what, sir. Uh, what, what, sir? Well, I, I know of a model for you, sir. Whom, whom? Me, me. You? <laughs> yes. Watch this, sir. I'll be out of here in ten minutes. My hair is almost done. <laughs> Harriet, what did you do with my nails, Harriet? Bring the nails back with the cuticles, uh, Harry. Have you seen Sylvester? Oh, there you are. What are you doing here? You're supposed to be working. Uh, well, you see, I saw Mr. Martin's Photoshop, and I thought I would stop in, sir. Stop oh. in? You peeped in. Oh, no, I didn't. It was only like a gag, sir. Uh, but, but don't be angry, will you? You like photography, huh? Oh, yes. Uh, these, are, these are my yeah, hobbies. We, we did mm -hmm. the Revere thing. Yeah, we did that already. <laughs> I've been superintendent. I've been superintendent in this building for 14 years, and I never saw anybody so lazy. I'm lazy. So lazy? Ho, ho, and boulder that. <laughs> oh, don't go strushering me, buddy. <laughs> I don't know either. I heard my grandfather say oh, it once. Gosh. Don't go telling me, because I don't need you. Right, Mr. Martin? I did nothing wrong. I'm not with you. I'm with him. All You're right. fired. What? You heard me? You're through. You are fired. F-I-R-E-G-H-T. Fired. You're through. Now turn in your equipment. You're squeegee. My squeegee. Yeah, give it to him. Just one more before I hand it in. You're Schwitzen. Yeah. <laughs> Who said that? Your grandmother? <laughs> You're sponge. My what? You're sponge. Ah, uh, not my sponge. My... <laughs> Give me a punch. Take back your sponge. Come on, do the regular routine. Ah, uh, it's stale already. I'm All tired. Right. Your damp cloth. Ah, uh, not my damp cloth, buddy. <laughs> That's so easy. You have a heart. Not the damn cloth, buddy. Give him the damn cloth. I was going to give it to him just now. The damn cloth. Your dry cloth. Ah, oh, come on, buddy. Come down, Jack. Give him your dry cloth. <laughs> We're having loads of fun. Won't you join us? <laughs> Why not my bucket? Spin with me through thick and thin, thick. <laughs> give me your bucket. <laughs> Let me have the bucket. If I ever heard a few, this is it. Let him have it. He's gonna have you want it, huh? Let me have it. Let him have it. 
<laughs> no water. What happened? There was no water in the house. I bought that. It's empty. Yeah. <laughs> On every show I got it with something. <laughs> I'm getting nut in this night. <laughs> you guys fooled me. <laughs> I, I, I expected something to happen and nothing happened. <laughs> <laughs> you sure fooled me this time. <laughs> We fooled him. <laughs> well. <laughs> well, I don't know what to say. Uh, how about swimming a little? <laughs> uh, no, I'm awfully sorry I caused you so much trouble, Mr. Martin. I shall go on my way. I have no job, but I'm sorry that I inconvenienced you. How would you like to work for me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I would like that a lot, sir. May I? With your very kind permission. I would like to, sir. Yes, may I work for you, sir? All right. All right, let's go over here to the camera. All righty. I would love to work for you, sir. That's awfully kind of you, sir. That's all right. All righty. What do we do first? Well, I I'm going to move the camera. Oh, all right, you move the camera. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> help me. Help me move the camera. Here. All righty. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> now. Here now, I am. <laughs> how about that? Now, you go behind the screen and put on that little costume. The costume back there? I'm going to take pictures of it. All righty. Right. Excuse me. All Bye. Right. Bye. Now, you, you put that on and everything will be all right when you're all through. Hey, your brother's in there waiting. Ah. <laughs> and take your time when you dress. You know what I mean? Your two cousins are waiting for you. Uh -huh. <laughs> Me well, how do I look? That's fine. Now, you sit oh, down. Good, isn't it? <laughs> now, I'll, I'll focus the camera correctly, so we'll take a beautiful picture. Here we are. I'll see if it's all right. Hey, I know her. All right? We'll put the back in, and we're going to focus it right on the chair. Are you almost ready, Sylvester? <laughs> now, you come over here. Now, now, what must I do, Mr. Martin? Sit right here. That's it. Oh, it's, it's pretty damp, this yes, chair. <laughs> yeah, it shouldn't have been there. Now, look. <laughs> yes, we're going to have a, take an ad, a picture for oval tone. This makes you sleep, see? Oval tone? The oval tone. When you drink this, you sleep, see? Oh, so it's you, a sleep drink. Now, after you drink it, I want to see a satisfied look on your face, and then I'll snap it. Oh, all righty. Well, you, you give me some of that oval tone. Oh, this sounds exciting, doesn't it? <laughs>
And I... Stanley, here, over here. Over here. Now, I'm going to prop you up beautifully right there. Now, hold the... <laughs> hold it. Now, hold it. Easy now. That's... I'm going to... I think we got it now. Uh, <laughs> uh, so how's the family? Uh. Uh. <laughs> I got it now. Just hold it. Hold the pose. Hold the bed. There. Uh, hold it. Martin. Shampoo presents the true story of the Sleeping Beauty. Egad, what a doll. Egad, what a mess. What did you do with your hair? Washed it. Washed it? With what? With this stuff. That? Brother, don't you know soaping dull's hair? Halo glorifies it. Let me demonstrate. Halo is not a soap or oily cream. Made with a special patented ingredient, Halo can't leave dulling soap film. Halo needs no special rinse. Leaves hair fragrant, soft, and shining. Ooh, and Halo leaves my hair so easy to manage. So don't you be a sleeping beauty. Use Halo shampoo and find your friends charming. So Halo, everybody, Halo. Halo shampoo, Halo. Hi, this is Margaret Lindsay. Why don't you follow Sleeping Beauty's advice and find a prince of your own? You see, Halo Shampoo glorifies your hair, leaves it soft, naturally shining, and so wonderfully easy to manage. Next time you buy shampoo, remember, soaping dulls hair. Halo glorifies it. <laughs> Very kind. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I would like to make a quick mention, if I may, about a very, very wonderful magazine, Look Magazine. If you can notice, if you look carefully, you see Look Magazine on the April 8th issue, which comes out April the 8th. Dean and myself... <laughs> what is such a tremendous slap? <laughs> April the 8th, it comes out, but it's actually the April 22nd issue. See, I had you all full. <laughs> but Dean and I are on the cover, and there's a very wonderful story written by Leo Rostin, a great writer, and we thank Leo for a very beautiful story on April the 8th by Look Magazine. It would be swell of you. <laughs> now, we would like to make a public thank you to Steuben's Restaurant in Boston for helping Dean and I live healthily while our, uh, we had our theater tour in Boston and uh, Frida's Restaurant. They fed Dean and I, and we're very grateful to these nice people for treating us so beautifully while in Boston. We'd like also to make mention of the fact that there's a terrible tornado down south the Red Cross has asked us to please pass on to you how very, very urgent it is for you to help them. They need money, they need funds. In six southern states, there is a definite, give me the word, quick, give me a word, hurry, give me a word. No, need is not the word. The word is catastrophe, there it is. <laughs> but seriously, we would like you to please help the Red Cross, send your contributions if you will. They need all the money they can possibly get because it's an awful, terrible thing that's happened. They are asking everyone in television to make this announcement, and we would like for you to help. Them. happy girls have solved their wash day problems. How about you? I'm really interested because solving washing problems is my job. So I can help you get the whiter, cleaner, sweeter smelling wash you want. 
In fact, you can get your wash really clean and white without bleaching. Sound difficult? Not with Colgate's new Fab. Because Fab washes whiter without bleaching. Whiter than any other washing product known with bleach in the wash water. What's more, Fab washes clothes cleaner than any soap. Gets out dirt, leaves no soap scum in the hardest water, and that keeps your pretty washable colors brighter wash after wash. But uh, don't just take my word for it. Listen to the women who are using Fab. Mrs. Stanley Hanson, Kansas City, Missouri, tried Fab. Here's what she says. Oh, what a difference on wash days when you use Fab. My little girl's play clothes get so dirty, and I always have the biggest wash. But even the grimiest towels come whiter with Fab without bleaching than any other suds I've ever used with bleach added. It's Fab for me from now on, believe you me. Next wash day, try Colgate's new Fab. Ladies and gentlemen, with the coming of spring, the nation's thoughts turn to our great national sport. So let us take you to Sweetwater, Florida, where we find the pennant-winning New York Bruisers about to start their spring training. Let's say hello to the Bruisers' coach and see what he thinks about their chances this year. Well, he doesn't seem to be around, so let's check the hotel. Like all coaches, he's constantly on the lookout for new talent. In fact, right at this moment, he's expecting a visit from the Rookie of the Year. So let's look in on... Leo Rocha, coach of the New York Bruisers. <laughs> you better hurry, Leo. That rookie of the year will be here any minute now. I can't find my glasses, baby. Oh, they're right in front of you on the bureau. Oh, oh, oh. oh hey, thank you, honey. <laughs> Leo Rocha, how can you impress this rookie and make him sign a contract if he sees you in those thick glasses? Wow. Now take them off immediately. Well, I can't see. I got the umpire's disease. I can't see. Well, oh, that's the point. Huh? No new player is going to sign with a coach who has eyes like an umpire. Now, look. Well, I can't see, sweetheart. I'll stay right with you. You'll never find out. <laughs> now, come on. Give me the glasses. Where'd everybody go? <laughs> honey. Uh, uh, honey, where are you? Yes, you're here. You deserve a big kiss after oh. that. That's very... That... Oh, you should have shaved, honey. I mean, I've got some guests coming. I wonder what's keeping him. Yeah, all right, let's sit on the sofa here. Darling. <laughs> oh, right gosh. Here. You keep moving the furniture. I don't know where I am. got triple vision. <laughs> you better answer the door. There he is now, darling. Answer the door. Oh, all right, I will. I... Where's the door? Where's the door? Right this way. Where is it? Huh? Right here, dear. Oh, oh sure. <laughs> Nobody here, honey. Uh, of course there is. Hello. Did you wish to see Mr. Roacher? Oh, hello. Uh, are you he? Oh, uh, I'm Mrs. Roacher. Oh, uh, hello. Well, I'm uh, I'm uh, the rookie of the year, Willie Loman. Willie Loman? <laughs> Don't ask me what happened in Boston, lady. Uh, this is my husband, Mr. Roacher. Oh, uh, how are you, Mr. Roacher? Oh, fine. How are you? Oh, fine. Nice to see you, sir. You have a very, very charming wife. Hey, you're awful skinny to be a ball player. Well, uh, you're nothing but skin and bones yourself, buddy. <laughs> you have a very small head. <laughs> hey, you're bald, too, right? Darling, just sit right here and be comfortable. All right. And here, Mr. Loman, you sit right here. Oh, all right. Thank you very much. Now, you boys get acquainted while I make some coffee. You're going to make coffee, honey? Yes, 
Well, I'll make it nice and hot. Right, you know? Thank you very much, Mrs. Wilcher. <laughs> uh, listen, uh, are you all right here? Why don't you sit down? Oh, I thank you very much. You want me to be closer, Mr. Wilcher? Yeah, I, I said... Oh, I got to water this in the morning. <laughs> hey, why don't you sit over here? What are you, wise guy? You're something there? Are you sitting? You all right now? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine, Mr. Roger. Thank you. Good. I'll sit right next to you now. I'm... Yeah, you're getting a little familiar, buddy. I'm sorry. <laughs> Look, honey, when you're through, when you're through with this, uh, when did you start smoking, sweetheart? Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm Willie Loman, rookie of the year. Oh, <laughs> don't ask me about Boston, buddy. No, I won't ask you about Boston. Yeah, you got a light, please, if you don't mind? A light, sure, right here on the table. Yeah, here it is. <laughs> Roacher. Roach, ha ha, yeah. Ha 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 ha. I shouldn't be smoking, I'll be in some training. You have an ashtray? That's around here. Around there? Uh huh. Ah, I thought it was a coupling for a minute. <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't be smoking. <laughs> well, uh, here I am, Mr. Roacher. And I'm ready to get right to work and play ball for your club, buddy. Oh, well, let's see. Uh, uh, how about that? What? Oh, yeah, fat. Uh, listen, how about that? How about the, uh, how's your batting? You oh, my batting's real good. I, I just wish I could show you. Uh, my eye is pretty good. Oh, that's a silly oh, question. Yeah. How's my batting? Uh, that, that's how my, how, how's your batting that, eye? That's like asking you how your eye is, a coach of a great team. Yeah. <laughs> my batting eye is good. <laughs> Ooh. Uh. <laughs> I'll, get, I'll get you a bat. Okay, all righty. Oh, my wife keeps moving the furniture. I don't know where I am some of the time. Huh. All the time. It's over here. For, I'll get you a bat. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh, here we are. Hey, I am. <laughs> There's somebody else in the room here? Here, I'll, I'll set it right down here. Ah! 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 Hey. Uh, one of these are the bats in here somewhere. Ah, uh, here it is, uh, Mr. Roger. No, that's a glove. Put that down. Oh. Ah, <laughs> uh, here we are. Yes, sir, boy. A good old bat. Yes. I lost me a... Oh, I better put this away first, sir, so it don't get in our way. Yes. Hope you don't mind, sir. Don't mind at all. I'll just put this away. Uh, yes, sir. Your wife keeps moving the furniture. Yes, she does. <laughs> Over those five <laughs> That's a big shipper rope you got. There's lots of people and cabs in it. <laughs> well, uh, let's get set for... Let's get set for batting practice, Mr. Roacher. All right, look, I'll pitch a couple balls. I'll pitch a couple balls. Uh, okay, here. Now, you come on. Oh, I'll pitch a few balls to you. All righty. Okay, now, you stand over there. All right, I'm fine now. You okay? Yeah. All right, here we go. Okie doke. All right, here, here comes a fast one now. This is coming to bat. Oh, get it, baby! He's picking up better than the BB Bobby! Out of the way, baby! Oh, get it, man! Why, baby, baby, baby! Aren't you overacting just a little bit? I think. It hurts you a little bit. Now, if this will kill you now, this is a slow ball. I'm ready for it, buddy. <laughs> You seem so close. Yeah. Ha, 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 ha. Here goes the slow ball. Boy, you didn't even see that one. Oh. You might like a little snack with your oh, coffee. Oh, fine. Over yeah. here. Yeah. Watch yourself. We'll, get, we'll have something to eat here. Something to eat. Oh, thank you. Oh, 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 o
Well, let's all dig in now. Is this the pool here? Yeah, here it is. Yeah, there it is, right there. Okay, have some, some, or some of food. Be my guest, huh? No, oh, after you, sir. Oh, no, you, Willie. I'll take some after you. Oh, all righty. <laughs> forgot the Thank whole Thank you bit. very much. <laughs> very kind. Yeah. I'm glad you like it. I, I, I like to eat in the afternoon, I... Yeah. Lunch time. I think I'll take some myself. Oh, yeah, go ahead, because there's plenty there. Yeah. A lot of food there. Yeah. <laughs> you don't mind if I have a little more, do you, buddy? <laughs> Oh, yes, sir, boy. Yes, sir, boy. Hey, help yourself. Eat up, boy. Yes, I think I'll have some more. Yeah, eat up the <laughs> What happened to the plate? <laughs> shaving and get only a half day shave? Oh, why don't you shave? Do you spend full time shaving and get only a half day shave? Why don't you shave? Why spend full time shaving to get only a half day shave? <laughs> when you could get an all day shave. That's right, an all day shave the palm olive lather shaving cream way. Yes, for a shave that most men find really lasts from morning <coughs> till night. Follow the palm olive lather way. The palm olive lather shaving cream way was tested by 1,200 men. And no matter how they shaved before, seven out of ten reported cleaner, closer shaves. And mighty comfortable shaves, too. Palm olive's rich, billowy lather lets you cut whiskers off right down at skin level. Just see if your face doesn't feel velvet smooth. Your shave cleaner, closer. Yes, try Palm Olive Lather Shaving Cream and follow package directions for an all-day shave. Get Palm Olive Lather today. And men, to top off that perfect shave, use the lotion that cools in seconds and soothes for hours. It's new Palm Olive After Shave Lotion. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this has really nothing to do with the regular show, but the National Broadcasting Company asked me to come out here and make this announcement. You see, last week was Jerry Lewis's birthday, 
And on the way back from New York, we had a little party for him on board the train because, well, we love Jerry. Everybody who works with Jerry loves him very much, and Jerry loves everybody that he works with. And this guy, I can't tell you what a wonderful, good-hearted, sweet-natured boy he is. <laughs> He's a really wonderful kid, and I thought maybe that when he comes out here now, you could all join me in kind of a, a little round of applause for a, and wish him a belated happy birthday, would you? Here he is now, Jerry Lewis. Thank you very much. <clears throat> You're very kind. Uh, to say that I'm uh, deeply touched would be an understatement because the love that we have amongst ourselves is something unsurpassable. Dean and I, well, I especially love the crew. They've been so kind, I pour my heart out to them because they're I'm, wonderful I'm sorry, to me. Is everything all right in there? Not King. I'm sorry, Mr. Lewis, but we this seem is, to... This uh, is Mr. Lear, one of our crew members, and... Uh... Are, are we all right? I'm sorry, Mr. Lewis, but something's gone wrong, and then we're off the air. We're off the air? What do you mean, we're off the air? <laughs> How are we off the air? How did this thing like this happen? <laughs> How do we get off the air for <laughs> nothing? <laughs> uh, uh, to tell you how we love... Uh, <laughs> Something. Get the mic, boom, out of the way! Accidents <laughs> do happen. But I tell you that um, we have a, a, a comradeship amongst us. Yes, Mr. this is Mr. Uh, Simmons, one of our uh, technicians. We're off the air again. We're off the air? What? <laughs> How are we off the air? Why don't people know what they're doing? Why do we... Jerry, we're on. Well, I tell you that we've had... Wonderful times together. Yeah. We've got to do something about it because we're off again. Why off? Why off? Who knows how to operate the set? Why are we always doing things that aren't right? We're I, on. We're on. Here's we're one on. of our technicians <laughs> that has been with us for four years. Isn't that right, Norman? Four years. And, and the love that we have and the way we work together. Well, I just can't begin. Sorry, Mr. Lewis, you're off the air. What? <laughs> What do you mean you ain't like me or anybody else? Well, what are you jumping about? I just walked out. I didn't bother nobody. Hey, what do you want to do? I don't want to do nothing. I just, I just came out to tell you that I like to be treated like everybody else, that's all. Well, if there's any particular way you like to be treated, let me know, Jerry. Well, normally. I want to be treated like you, like all the boys... How can you possibly be normal like anybody else? I'm just as normal as you or anybody else. You actually think you're normal like I'm... us? I know I'm normal. Get up there. Look out, Fred. I'm coming up. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. We'd like to. Would you mind putting the boom down, please? Yeah, put the, put the boom down. Put the boom down. We haven't got time. Dean, where, oh yeah, where's the boom? We would like to say that we could uh, do about another minute. Ah, uh, you're spitzing, huh? Yeah. <laughs> we could do a minute of comedy, but we do want to say hello to Tommy Yakey, a nine-year-old boy who has muscular dystrophy, Providence, Rhode Island. Tommy, good luck and God bless you. And keep punching. We'd like to remind you muscular dystrophy is a disease no one knows about. We need your kind cooperation. It's our charity because it's had no help. MDA, New York 8, New York. Send your money to MDA, New York, New York 8, um, New York. Tony Martin next week. Next week, our good friend, Tony Martin, ladies and gentlemen. And until we see you, you thank you for being so nice. Okay, Gates, we love you. Good night. Goodbye. God bless you. The Colgate Comedy Hour has been presented by Halo Shampoo. Tomorrow's lather shaving cream. Ajax cleanser. And Fab, the new wash day suds. Featuring tonight's cast were Gail Bonney, Peter Votry, Harvey Dunn, Ruth Saville, Sarah Bacon, Linda Williams, and Evelyn Lovequist. The 
song, That's My Boy, was written by Eli Bass and Bobby Cole. Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis can currently be seen co-starring in the new Hal Wallace production, Sailor Beware. And now, good night for the Colgate Comedy Hour, which has been presented by the Colgate Pharma Repeat Company, makers of quality products since 1806. <laughs>